Kill him, man, man, from Jinx, welcome to Stories on Toll. Now, first off, before we begin, there is an epilepsy warning in this particular game set. There's a lot of flashing lights. So, for sensitive, epilepsy Watson came up in the beginning. Very serious, so watch out. Don't watch this. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put a warning at the bottom if when they start to come up. So, but anyway, let's get into it. Chapter 1, Episode 1, ep The House is Abandoned. I suppose they abandoned. Doctor or something. Look around. Go to open up. Bye. Bye for. Bye helpful hints. Oh wow. Free chess. Those are the days. This is very pretty looking. That was cool. Nice intro. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. Ah, there it is. Well, that's not a happy sound. Make the sound stop, please. Ah, here we go. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but that's as idealistic as you remember from all the, that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. So I gotta type. Look around. It's a nice clean car. Not much to see, but there is a glove box. Look in the glove box closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open said glove box. You guys are gonna hear my typing. Sorry, inside there's a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Look at note. The note is from your dad. Reads Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You need to fire up the generator around back to protect, get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Thanks, Dad. Uh, oh, I know this one. Run. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be back. Run away. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. Funny use the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Around. The trees stretch up to the night sky. There is a house and the yard. Look. At yard. The spacious yard extends around the back of the house. A great place to relax in the long summers. Go to the yard. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Well, you see a gentleman in the back wall of the house. Go to... Generator. You are standing next to the generator. <laughs> I don't know if that means I already am, or now I am. You know? Okay. Fire up. I'm sorry. Start! Generator. You switch the generator on and it whirls into life. The house is still dark. Turn around. Let's look around. Okay. You see the generator in the back wall of the house. Go to front. Front. Front of house. You walk around back to the front. Of the that was, okay. Yep. 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 Lovely. House is grand. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Go inside house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Oh, go inside? You step inside the front door. 
You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Use... You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There was access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. The hallway is a pleasant welcome to the home, airy and, f and the fresh. Go. Go to kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There was a door to the utility room, otherwise it's just a kitchen. Go to utility room. The utility room is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay, look around. It's very clean and tidy, not being used for a while. How can it be clean and tidy then? Uh, go to living room. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Leave kitchen. You go back out to the hallway. Go. Never mind. Go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of time. We? We? Who's we? We spend a good time here playing board games with the family and one inviting. Look around. There was nothing here of interest. Dance. Okay, leave living room. I can spell. You go back out to the hallway. Go up. Stairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom with two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures from adorn the walls from these happy times. Look. Had pictures. Family photos and holiday snacks. A family, f happy family. Go to bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There is not much to note. It's all in good order. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look at mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Dun dun dun. Thank you. I'm sorry, I understand. Leave them. So that's the landing. Okay, look around. The landing, their pictures, frames, coming one wall. Go. No. Two. Sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition. You're untouched since the last time you've seen her. Pulses of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned on a pillow of colourful soft toys. A very nostalgic trip. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Ooh, look. Into. Wardrobe. A large closed wardrobe. Usually the door is slightly ajar. She never let you go through her stuff. Go. Through her stuff. Look at her stuff. It won't let me do it. Okay, leave room. You step back on the landing. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Look around. To stand in the bedroom, a desk, a wooden grain TV. The usual. That's not usual. Go to TV. Turn TV on. Throw TV. Damn, okay, look. Alright, gift. A large wrap gift present detects as your name. That's nice. Open gift. You unwrapped the gift excitedly. <gasps> you can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A future future one two eight K plus two has been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. But it's under to continue. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here. Oh, on my desk is now the computer. And I copied the house abandoned. So it's still all s what? It's all still to be set up though. Set up the house. 
abandoned. Set up. Go to computer. Tape loader and the copy that has been play tape. Play the house abandoned. That finally, you start to plug in the various cables and whatever. The computer is still set up and ready to go. This is a game here too. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh, but uh oh. Ah, whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have plugged it in. Knocked out the generator. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah, that seems about right. Goodbye. Ah, it's got blood. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's cleanly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be in this place. Look around. You are in the car. You don't want to get out. There is a glove box. Open the glove the box. Inside is the key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Look at note from Dad. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out, get out, get out. Seems cheerful. Okay, here we go. Get out. You force the warp car door open to fall out, because that's normal. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side where it creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Find love. Get out. Look around. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is a front door and a yard. Go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the sides of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. Do I need to? Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Start. Generator. Oh. There's much fall but the generator starts up. Good. Look at note. The note now reads gibberish. Leave yard. You go back to the front of the house. That was too early. Go to front door. Go to house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Go inside. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Go away. It's pitch black. But your senses are punished more by the smell. Still and damp. This could be less this could not be less inviting. The note burns your hands as you feel compared to read it over and over. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to touch. Turn on light switch. I find them what you might see, you flick the light switch. The light flickers on and off, the walls are falling apart after using neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet and such is unbearable. Turn it off and off. Jesus Christ. The alarm could be blowing someone else in the house, can't be. Someone turns it up and panics. Settles in. You're still in the hallway. The horse has stopped you from you feel present. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and living room adjacent. It says living up. It's not discussed. No. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. <sighs> and someone's crossed out all the lovely, beautiful photographs. Okay, go. Like, wait, wait, no, no. Look around. There are stairs and doors. Go to the kitchen. I don't expect you go to the kitchen. 
The kitchen sinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The David talks of rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. The other's writing on the wall and the utility took us away the X on it. There seems to be written on the wall that looks like blood. In blood, the numbers 1986 is smeared across the wall. Look, uh, go to utility. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Look at carcass. You look closer and can't tell what it is or what it was. Look at note. The paper now feels like fabric is covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Leave. God, your shoes are wet. Not good. We enter the living room. The living room, although highly appropriate term, the virgin is bare afraid and worn. The note feels you, it's fixing your mind. Dread feels the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. The note, always changing. Now read, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Leave. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing is access to your sister's, sister's room and your room in bathroom. Come for you? Can I have? You need to hang up the phone. I do whatever you consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. Something's different about them. Around. The landing is bare and worn. Four little on the wall, all misaligned. Yeah. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scorched out and all. I noticed. Yay. Go to sis. Jennifer's room is boiled up. You can't bear this. Break. Boards. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit code. Input 1986. Unlock door. Door. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key is in your hand, weighs heavy. The note is heavier. You grab the lock and now input the code. Look. <laughs> I know it's not the thing, but I want to do it. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it. Go. Okay. The lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing is access to your sister's room, your room in the bathroom. Oh, I forgot about the bathroom. You went to the bathroom. I haven't completely forgot it. Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface covered in a layer of oily grime. I think it's a haven for all kind of bugs. No, no it's impossible to read you to the black or that I'll covers it. This guy is like, I have to turn down the music so I can read the stops now. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Touch one. What's in the prison? Look in mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Leave. Oh yeah. Go. Go to my room. The door is closed. Open door. 
You open the bedroom door. If you like to go into, get out. Go into my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels oddly familiar. Yeah, the walls are damp, and you've been here before. And finally, use a long person to find the computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock rings nine, 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 nine. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You go find a note, Titan. Look at no. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. I was out of my hands, but so you punished me. I can't believe you more now. There was nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. I'm sorry, I don't understand. No. No. You're pathetic. It's all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please stop. Yep. It was all my fault. Say it. Just say it. Just say it. Ugh. So let me say it. I am bad. Just say it. You know what? <laughs> I don't know what you want to say, I wasn't paying attention. It was me. Uh oh. It was my bad. It was all my fault. F in I n Finally. Whoa, that was cool. That was really cool. Oh man. This is a very cool concept for a horror game. Ah. Uh, they bought me my head like totally forgot what they wanted me to say, so kinda got stuck there because I kept, I actually kept asking the computer what is it that you want to say? And it wouldn't tell me, it would just say um to say it. Uh, which is the only thing, that, the only bad loop you could possibly get stuck in that. Oh, that was excellent. And so there's four episodes, and of course we're going to go through them all. That was a really awesome one. I can't wait to see what the second one's like. There's a human heart, apparently. Should be fun. Should be cool. Oh, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was cool. Can't wait for the next one. But anyway, that's it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, more subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.